Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today I'll be showing you how to make this New Year's animation. I thought since New Year is close, so you guys will right, want to make one. Um, let's see that again. It's really simple. I think a lot of you might have already figured it out, but for those who don't, that's why I'm making this tutorial. So let's get started. First off, you press 1 to go into front view, S, Z to scale the cube in the Z axis, then tap to go into edit mode, go to face select mode and select the lower face and delete it. Then go into front view, control R to add one loop cut, then another loop cut, shift R to select the other loop cut and then scale it. Then go into the modifier step and add a subdivision surface modifier. You can just then scale it a little bit more and now we still scale the other one a little bit inward and then we shade smooth so now we're, we are done for uh, for the lanterns for this one uh, for the time being we are done with the lantern so we'll hide it now we add the plane scale by scale by 10 and now we give it a material will make it transparent you need to uh, change the blend mode to alpha clip and now we're done with the material of this so now we're going to make the material for the lantern we also don't need the light so delete it so now we're going to make the material for the lantern so we're going to shader it there and, and we're going to add in an emission shader Duplicate it, set one of the emission shaders value to 20. Oh, and we also need to turn on bloom in the render settings. And we also need a mix shader. Add in a color ramp. We also need mapping and texture coordinates, so mapping node, texture coordinates generated into the vector layer. And uh, since we need random colors, we'll need another color ramp. Well, actually, two color ramps, but uh, we need to make one of them. And for this, we'll actually just change it to constant. And I think I'll go with four colors for this one. And I want them all to be equal, so um, all of them will actually have a factor of 0 0.25 distance 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and this one should be 0 0.75. Uh, you can use more colors if you want, but I'm for now using only four, co four colors. So let's just change this one to uh, let's go with blue. This one can be yellow. Most color and animations is <laughs> complete without yellow. So uh, this one can be red. And this one can be is greenish blue color. Now we're going to shift it, duplicate it. And this, the same colors you just need to uh, turn down their brightness. We'll be uh, needing that too. Uh, you'll see that in a, in a minute why you need to do this. And now plug this in into the emission shaders, the darker colors into the lighter one, and the lighter colors into the uh, high value emission strength. And finally, because we're going to be using a particle system, we'll, we'll need this node to. Uh, object info node and uh, the same random number into the factor of both so the same random number value changes and uh, the same random value goes in both of the color ramps and select the same value so when it goes with this screen it will go with this screen as well at the same time so now we have to just hide the lantern since the lantern shader is ready uh, we are actually going to move it downwards since it will still show up in the render and we can now we're going to make the particle system lifetime to 200 is good for now 
with the render left time a little bit higher if you want and for the start of the animation I'm going to go with minus 20 in the render which is changes into uh, object scale into 0 0.1 and instance object can be lantern and now I'll show you you see all different colors although I think we yeah, we need to make the color a little bit more dull. Oh no, we need to change the color. I'm to uh, I think I'm oh, yeah, we need to add the separate XYZ. And go with Z. So now they actually have that uh, darkish tone on the top. You can actually move this along. Yeah, I think that's good. Good enough. So now we hide both of these for now. And uh, we actually want them to fly above. So we're going to add some force fields. First wind, scale it up. G and Z axis since we don't want to uh, want it to get in our way. Uh, give it a strength of 20 and shift A and add in turbulence to actually give that weird random motion G Z and uh, also give it a strength of 20 as well. So now when we I'm just going to play this in solid mode. So now the lanterns would fly above. And they actually have that weird randomness to them too. So now we're done with them. Uh, now it's time for the text. Shift A, add in the text. Tab edit. Seven to check the above view. Backspace. Happy new year. Enter twenty twenty. Or just whatever else you could think of and now we have this text settings here so I just want them to be in center like this and uh, the font could be anything you want I'm just going to go with the default font since I find it okay enough now tab and go back into solid mode and click on object convert to mesh now it is a proper mesh before we couldn't edit it enough and now you see in edit mode that it has so many extra vertices so we're going to remove them so we're going to click into vertex merge vertices by distance and um, I think by 0 0.2 is enough you see almost 5, uh, 450 vertices have been deleted and that's good enough for me and now we're going to extrude it up to give it a little bit of thickness now we're going to uh, rotate it in the X by 90. Already. And now we're going to give it a material. That material that you know makes it go from uh, invisible to visible. So first we're going to give it an emission shader. Color should be yellowish gold or whatever you want. Uh, and a strength of 6 is fine by me. And in the shader editor, we add in a mix shader, and we're going to add in our transparent BSDF, a color ramp, and a noise texture. Now, uh, I'll show you how this shader works in the rendered view. See, it actually just turned invisible. Let's really so we're actually going to keep it in like this. Oh, um, I think I'm forgetting, yeah, I'll to alpha clip it. Now it looks a lot better, a lot, lot better. So we're going to keep it invisible for the time being.
Oh, and as for the plane, uh, it needs to go down a bit. Now we need to set the camera up. Make it zero, zero in all of them for now. And um, 90 in here. We need to open up the we need to go into solid mode to check out the text. Now we will actually, uh, with the camera selected, we are actually going to change its location. I think uh, this is good enough. Oh, and um, we also need to set the background for it, like the SGRI, but uh, I don't have the, I'll, I have the link. To it, uh, it's not exactly an edge right? it's an image. Basically, I actually had to mess it up a little bit to actually make it useful. So, uh, we have to go into the world settings to add it. Uh, the link is down, down there. If you can use it, if you want to use it, use it. If you want to use something else, you are more than welcome to use it. But since this is an NPR type of scene and it's really hard to find them, I had to make one myself. And it's it's not an SGRI, it's basically an image, but we I have a loophole to work around it as you can see in the uh, as you saw in the videos. So we'll first add in the environment texture, the surface open and uh, desktop as this image, and we'll also need a um, mapping node. If you are using this uh, image that I'm pro I have provided, then you will need this mapping node and texture coordinates if you have something else you think would work better then you should use it and um, in the z we're going to have to up it, keep it up in the location 0 0.5 only in the location one to actually move it uh, as it was required and now we're going to work on the camera rotation so we're going to have to add an empty you have, don't have to worry empty is an object uh, that isn't rendered so it won't be a problem to you and in the meantime, in the meantime, we'll have to hide the other things so they don't get in our way. So click on the camera, then shift and click on the empty, then click Control P to paint and the object. Now, when you select the empty and rotate it, the camera rotates around it. And since we don't want the text to move, that's why I didn't do it on the text. Uh, so now we're going to open up the text, and um, we'll have, we're going to have to go into our object. Click on the text, and for the time being, we have to we are going to have to work in the rendered mode. So I'm going to make them with the text visible again, rendered, and we're going to have to see it through the camera view. The basic idea is basically um, we're going to have to rotate and check and see which is going to be the starting position and the final position, and the text has to be uh, straightforward in the final position. In the starting position, it will be invisible, so it doesn't matter if it's uh, straight or not. So we're going to uh, this is going to be our starting position 67.1. If you are using this SGRI, then uh, this 67, let's just say 69, 69, 69 is going to be our starting position. If you are using this SGRI, if you don't, then you won't have this problem. And um, our ending position is going to be minus 249. So the so uh, this text has to be rotated in the same way. I think it was 110 when I last did it. Maybe 120. Yeah, text is straightforward in 110. I will write the first time. Uh, so for now, we'll make the text invisible since it is in the correct position. And now we select the wait, I think it is a little bit visible still. Yeah. Now for the animation part, let's go back to 16.9 and um, the plane is going to have to be visible again. And I'm also going to select the text. So for the starting part, we're going to click over here and on the position we're going to click I and then we're going to click on the other slider and click also I to lock their positions and uh, the empty I'm going to click it and click on I to uh, record its rotation then um, I guess up until 90 we're going to go there and change the rotation of this into minus 2 
become visible again and click I and then click on the other slide and then click I again so click lock these two keyframes and then you click on the empty again and empty again and click I to lock its rotation so now as you can see we have created that animation set animation and if you want to render the animation then you can go ahead and select your pixel size from over here the most important part is to, ch part is to change the PNG into FFmpeg and also select the location over here when you select FFmpeg encoding will open encode, in the encoding change the container to mpeg4 and the woody codec also, also mpeg4 JVEC and output quality should be constant bitrate and uh, those are the settings so uh, when you have this selected location and the name of animation just click render and render animation so i hope you guys learned something i hope i taught you something well uh, if you want to see more videos then please leave a like subscribe and if there's any other thing other you want to make me uh, would you want me to make a tutorial then also leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel it will help a lot thank you